see what happened? Uh, I just, I was sliding out of bounds, so I knew how to get rid of it. And I saw Tracy, but I think 13 came and make a, made a good play on the ball and kind of affected it. And I don't know, I got to see the film. It was so fast, but we had our chances, man. Jeremy. Tracy, you guys had a 10 point lead with, with three minutes left. Just what was it so difficult about them that you couldn't get a stop, especially Keon Johnson? Um, yeah, we definitely, we did a lot of, we didn't get a lot of the little things that, that, that determines wins. A lot of little plays, offensive rebounds, a lot of second chance shots late. Uh, got a scramble late, uh, the kid hit a three in the corner, go to overtime. We just didn't do a lot of the little stuff that, that, that make us win games. And, you know, we, we definitely understand, um, the value of that and, you know, we just got to keep our head up, keep moving forward. Jeremy again. Michael, go ahead. Uh, you guys had chance for some rebounds and some loose balls late, and uh, they got to those. Uh, what was that? Because especially they're right in overtime. That's what happens. <laughs> that's, what, that's what the little things mean. That, that's what costs you games. <laughs> Not getting a uh, possession late, offensive rebounds, make you lose games. Jalen, you, you chased it as much as anybody. Uh, just talk about what it's like to try to guard that kid. Uh, we'll give credit to him and his team. Um, now he made a lot of shots, made a lot of tough shots. You know, I was just trying to make it tough for him. And uh, give him credit, he made a lot of big shots today. Uh, you know, things went their way. We still could have got some stops. You know, um, you know that's on us. We could be better on the defensive end, especially late. And, um, you know, that's what we have to do if we want to win. Jalen, what was the message uh, from Coach Gross just now in the locker room? Um, you know, basically like what we just said, um, we got to be better late. Um, you know, we, like we said, we give a lot of credit to them. They're a good team. Um, they played really well today, but, you know, we beat ourselves as well. A lot of stuff to beat ourselves today. And, uh, yeah, we made a lot of mistakes at the end of the game, and we just we got to clean that up, especially on the defensive end. ASAP. Tracy, what, um, is this a wake-up call for, for this team at all on the defensive side? I want to say a wake-up call. We've been talking about defense <laughs> all season after every game. And um, it's just something we just got to work at and, you know, keep getting better. And hopefully this game help us understand, you know, the value of <laughs> one possession, two possessions, uh, blocking out, just, just stuff like that. So we, we still learning. We're still young. It's early in the season. But, you know, we definitely, definitely got to do better. Michael, over here. Um, you guys want to take this? You guys obviously play West Virginia on Thursday, and they create a lot of turnovers, create a lot of havoc out there. With the amount of turnovers you guys had tonight, you know, how are you going to try to change that over the next couple of days leading into that game? Um, I think, you know, just paying attention to detail. Um, you know, lately, last few games, we've been good, uh, positive assist to turnover. And, um, you know, we know that they're, West Virginia's big on making t turnovers and pressuring. So, you know, we just got to clean that up and focus on taking care of the ball and getting good possessions. Any final questions? Uh, obviously, we knew that was, you know, going to be a challenge coming into the game. I thought it was what we needed. I, I still think even afterwards it was. Obviously, it's disappointing when you got a 10-point lead with three minutes to go. But, you know, we need we needed challenged, and uh, we have great respect for them. You know, I, I knew uh, – I've known Pat for a while. I know how good they are offensively. And, you know, I, I knew even from watching them the other night when the little – when the point guard didn't play and watching them play at Florida State, I was really impressed with their team. I saw them, you know, the Manhattan game where they beat them by double figures during the tip-off marathon. And, you know, I, I just think they're really, really good. I think the point guard's terrific. You know, that's as good an individual performance, certainly maybe top five I've I've ever been around. Certainly in here in my five years by an individual player, he was terrific. 
And then Cooks is a tough matchup. We knew that going in. I, you know, I mentioned yesterday to you guys that he reminded me a little bit of Joe Kim Noah and and a kid Joel Cornett that I coached at Butler uh, had a similar game as well as him. And uh, then they're old and they can shoot the ball and they make threes and. You know, so it was good for us. Man. We needed that challenge. Now we'll see how we respond going into Thursday. You know, at the end of the day, no, obviously I'm singing their kudos, and they're really good. And if the Lord bless them with health, they're going to win a ton of games. Having said that, we made a ton of mistakes. I don't think tonight was effort-related. I thought our spirit was really good. I thought our effort uh, and the communication – of our older guys and our team. They were active with their voices. They wanted to play well. They were locked in. I thought our effort was good. I did think we got a little bit tired. We'll take a look at it. You know, I got a decision to make there. Do I put guys in with for guys that are maybe a little bit fatigued that have been out of rhythm and out of the game for a very long period of time? And that's always a tough call. Obviously, knowing how it turned out now, maybe we should have, you know, hindsight's 20-20. But until a couple guys hit the wall here and there, I thought their effort was exceptional. I thought they had a good look in their eye. It was more execution than anything else. You know, 20, when you go against a team like that and the kid has an individual performance like that, they're that old and they're that good, and you turn it 22 times and you foul like we did, just too many mistakes. Too many mistakes, you know, especially in those two areas, taking care of the ball and fouling. And obviously some of those went hand in hand because some of the turnovers were fouls. You know, so we got to clean that up. I thought we got off to a great start, both halves. I thought foul trouble created some disruption, and I'm certainly not saying they weren't fouls. You know, we've, we've talked about some of those things for some time now. We've got to clean some of those things up. I thought those things haunted us a little bit today. But all in all, you know, I'm, I'm glad we played them. It's, it gives us a chance to learn. We needed that type of challenge after the first four games, and, and – uh, you know, my hat's off to the point guard. He was, he was dynamite. I mean, he really was. And then you know, on top of that, then, you know, everything's got to go wrong for us and right for them. You know, they part of that 10-point run. They bank in a three at the end of the shot clock. They scoop one in with the left hand with one second left on the shot clock. And then Hill loses his shoe. And uh, we're going to have to work on now when you lose your shoe, don't pick up your shoe, leave your shoe behind and get matched up because we don't get matched up. We're playing five on fours. It's being scrambled around. And as we all know, the three the kid made in the quarter, he wasn't even guarded, you know, because we're worried about trying to put the shoe on and all that. And <laughs> I mean, it was just, it just happened that way at the end where, you know, we just, uh, you know, it couldn't have went any worse for us on that 10 point run. If you think about how they scored eight of those 10, it's crazy. Uh, but give their kids credit, they're older, they made plays, they kept fighting. I told them they would. They weren't going to back down when we had three or four possession leads there two or three times. And uh, that's a good good basketball team. But we got to clean up our mistakes. We had a chance to close and didn't. Questions? John Malcolm didn't score in the, after the first half. Just what did you see? I think he played great. Uh, and obviously, I got a lot of respect for Malcolm and just a terrific kid and a terrific player. But you know, at 0 for 10 on two, seven turns, you know, I, I just didn't think he played real well. He'll play better. He'll play better. He just didn't play real well. Right behind you there, Fowler. How do you wait Black's performance? I thought he did a good job. You know, he'd been out, obviously, since last December. And, uh, you know, there's always a change as soon as you add one guy in rotations and it changes the dynamic of the game. And it just kind of is what it is. And I made up my mind we were going to play him. And you know, for the long haul. And, uh, but all in all, I thought his minutes were productive. He shot the ball efficiently. Thought he was active on the glass. He had a couple fouls that we got to clean up. You know, obviously he'd like to have those two free throws back in the overtime. But all in all, I thought it was a good start for him. And I think we'll see even better things out of him moving forward. What is it about guarding that kid specifically that's so, that's so difficult? Yeah, I mean, he's shifty. He's quick. He's fast. He's... He has, he has the ball on a string. He's on skates. I mean, you know, obviously he had, I think, five or six games last year, top of 30-plus. He's a 1,500-point college score coming into the game. He's the unanimous preseason player of the year. I mean, he's, he's good. He's really good. 
And we knew that coming in. Again, I wanted, our guys respected the heck out of them. We played really hard. We knew that was, you know, to get to beat them, it was going to be, if we were fortunate enough to do that, it was going to be a heck of a win. And um, just unfortunately, we weren't able to do it. It turned out to be, you know, they ended up winning the game. And But again, for me, I'm going to worry about what we can control. You know, obviously, Hill had a great look at the end of regulation. I'm not worried about that. We'll take that all the time. We got to the free throw line. We didn't make them. I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about the turnovers and the fouls, the ones we can control, the ones we can clean up top so that we don't have wasted possessions. Before they made their run there in the second half, L. Johnson without a point for four minutes. I guess what was working well then defensively and where did it go? I thought he wore point? Tate out. Tate was our best matchup on him and he was working his tail off to stay with him and hang with him and then we tried to get Tate a little bit of a blow there and he, I think in the overtime or towards the end of regulation but you know he just I thought we did a pretty good job of knowing where he was at Scott and obviously he was terrific in pick and roll situations and we gave him different coverages we were switching and trapping and hedging and icing <laughs> He, he was terrific. Give him, give him credit. He was terrific. John, I know every season is different. Every game is different. Um, but it seems like your team, just in closing minutes of some big games, is, hasn't been able to close. Is there anything that's similar? I think it's too early to say that, Jeremy, with this team. Because as soon as you add one or two guys, like the team changes. This is not the same team I've coached even the first four years. You know? So we don't know that yet, you know? Um, we could have done better today. I know that. You know, we're going to work our butts off to make sure it's not a pattern. <laughs> you know, like, but today's one game, and, you know, it didn't go our way today. And, uh, and part of it was we added insult to injury by making some of those mistakes. And part of it, I'm going to give them credit. I mean, they banked in a three. You know, our guy loses his shoe. They make a three in the corner. That was a kid's first three of the game, second three all year. And the scoop shot with one second on the shot clock, that was a heck of a play by that kid. Unbelievable finish for a guy that size because we contested it really well and he went under our arm and shot it with the weak hand. Just an unbelievable finish. So give him credit, you know. And um, we had a shot at the end of regulation, we didn't make it. We had free throws in overtime, some of them we didn't make. You know, we got to, you know, try to finish a little bit better. But I'm more worried, again, about the turnovers and the fouls because those are the things that – I thought added insult to injury. Give them credit for playing well. I thought we played really hard. And in stretches, I thought we played well. To get that 10-point lead against them with three minutes to go, I thought we had played pretty well. And then obviously those three minutes in the overtime didn't go our way. Coach, the, the turnovers has been an issue in several games dating back to the exhibitions. Sure. How do you – I mean, so we're six games in, seven games in now, counting the exhibitions. How do you kind of get that turned around here? Well, well I think, West Virginia, who does really well with turn, creating Yeah, turnovers. no question. That's a concern. We've got to handle the ball better. We've got to continue to look at – I think right now our biggest thing tonight was fouls, uh, illegal screens, post-up fouls. You know, we probably had, I'm going to say, five or six of those. You know, that's like a third of them almost. We've got to clean those up. You're going to get a couple, but we had too many of those. Um, you know, we had a high-low pass I thought we could have caught. You know, obviously Tate would like to have the one pass back on the pick and roll. He's, that's very uncharacteristic of him. But, you know, we'll take a look at it and see, uh, see what we need to clean up. But, yeah, I am concerned about that. I've said that. Concerned about our defense. I'm concerned about taking care of the ball. John, Mavin, Mike, just what are you seeing out of them? Is, are they struggling with the matchups, or what do you think it is? Um, tonight, obviously, with, with Cooks, we decided to play certain guys a little bit more. It wasn't anything those guys you know, necessarily weren't doing. They were locked in. They were ready to go. And uh, we're going to provide you know, whatever that we needed from them. Um, obviously, they trapped the post tonight. And I thought in the first half we got some good threes out of it where the ball came out of the post and we got it to the other side. I didn't think our ball movement against the post trap was as good in the second half. And, uh, you know, we've got enough shooters that we should be able to exploit that. Uh, Finky made one out of the post trap there in the overtime at the top. Hill made one in the first half. You know, yeah, I, I, I think we were C in that area, probably a little bit better in the first half than we were in the second half. But they made the decision that when the ball went in, Jeremy, they were trapping them. They were just going to make, make us throw it back out. And uh, we've got enough of a balanced team that we should be able to take advantage of that. Derek, back here. Chad. 
Coach, speaking of Mike and Matt, would you say that your rebounding effort out of some of your big guys is a little disappointing tonight? I think overall, Derek, not just this game, but I've been on those guys to rebound better per minute played. You know, they're aware of that, and I think they can provide more. I don't know if it's just tonight. We need them to do more uh, on the glass. And it's really not just them. Our wings that have that responsibility need to do a better job as well, especially on the offensive glass. I think we can clearly be better there. You know, to, we, we, we've got to be better on the backboard. Any final questions for Coach? Thanks, guys. Thank you, Coach.